as a fluffy Pomeranian with an eye for cinematic excellence. I couldn't help but wag my tail in excitement when I heard about The Flash. But oh, what an amazing movie it was. Even though it lacked one crucial element, a dog or, at the very least, a dog chasing a squirrel. How can you have a superhero film without a furry companion sniffing out trouble and stealing the show? Woof woof, the movie starts with Barry Allen, the fastest man alive, in dire need of sustenance. Being low on calories is a real issue, you know, even for us fluffy beings. He dashes into a coffee shop, but alas, his quick snack is interrupted by a crisis in Gotham City. Seriously, can the guy catch a break? He's got to stop arguing with the cashier and zoom to the scene leaving behind a bewildered squirrel who missed out on some potential doggy fun. With yellow lightning surrounding him, Barry races across hundreds of miles in seconds. I can only imagine the wind blowing through his fabulous fur. But I digress. Back to the review. Barry, bless his speedy paws, gets chewed out for his perpetual tardiness. Honestly, he should have been promoted ages ago. But I guess superheroes don't get promoted like us good boys and girls. And why was he the only Justice League member available? Did they have a dog convention to attend? Maybe he could have fetched them some reinforcements. Speaking of friends, Barry reunites with Iris West, who happens to be a journalist. She's concerned about Barry's dad, who's up for parole. Can you imagine the anticipation of a dog seeing their human after a long day? That's exactly how Barry feels. He stands in front of his childhood home, reminiscing about his mom's murder. It's a sad tale. But if only a loyal dog had been there to comfort him with some tail wags and slobbery kisses. Now, the movie heavily relies on CGI effects to keep the plot zooming forward. Barry interacting with his younger self is quite impressive. But when he spins back time in a speed force bubble, it's not as believable. Maybe if he had a doggy companion to guide him through time and space, things would have looked more authentic. A trusty psychic would have made all the difference. But fear not, my fellow dog enthusiasts, for Batman makes an epic return. Michael Keaton swoops in like the true canine crusader, downing his iconic 1989 costume and vehicles. It's mind-bogglingly awesome, to say the least. However, as much as I adore Batman, he's not a dog. I repeat, he's not a dog. And dogs, my friends, make everything better. Director Andy Muschietti deserves credit for casting Sasha Cal as Supergirl, though. She brings a fresh take to the role, but let's be real here, she can't beat the charm of a tail wagging crypto. And let's not forget Michael Shannon's fearsome General Zod Redux. If only he had a trusty doggy psychic to soften his villainous demeanor. Now, let's give a round of applause to Ezra Miller. Despite his controversial personal life, his performance as Barry Allen is truly magnificent. The character's complex, you see. He's socially awkward and introverted due to the tragedy of losing his mother. But in the alternate timeline, where he grew up with both parents, he's outgoing and funny. Oh, the parallel universes we dogs could explore with our humans if given the chance. In conclusion, The Flash is a wild ride of super speed and heroic endeavors, but as a Pomeranian, I couldn't help but long for a furry companion or some squirrel-chasing action. Nevertheless, the movie delivers on its promise of a stunning superhero adaptation and epic storytelling. If you enjoyed my Pomeranian perspective on The Flash, wag your tail and give this review a plug. Don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And if you want to stay updated with more of my hilarious movie reviews, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Trust me, you won't want to miss out on the canine-centric insights I bring to the world of cinema. Until next time, keep your tails wagging and your popcorn popping. Woof woof.